Today's video is just going to be over some of the other fitness articles and programs that are out there. Um, one in particular I was reading about is by uh, Jillian Michaels, and it's it's kind of odd to me. Um, it has you do these kind of weird, fancy, I guess, movements that you wouldn't typically, I guess, come up with on your own. Um, to me, they're just not really necessary. I feel like you would get a lot better results in shorter amount of time just focusing on compound lifting. That's for both men and women. Um, you'll, you'll lose fat faster in my opinion. Um, and it's just something that I've actually noticed in the gym too from like personal trainers and stuff where they'll have their clients do these just weird movements, you know, like um, doing a squat on a, a medicine ball while balancing on a medicine ball. Why? <laughs> like you're going to get um, a whole lot of extra work just balancing yourself, maybe kill yourself, but I guess that's, <laughs> uh, to me, that's not a very good trade off. Plus you're just not gonna be able to do, you're not gonna be able to lift as much if you're having to focus on like balancing instead of just focusing on the movement itself. So, I mean, you're going to lose a lot more fat. You're going to build a lot more muscle doing a squat with 150 pounds on your back than if you're doing 90 pounds and having to balance on a medicine ball or something like that. Something stupid where you can easily get hurt and probably will get hurt. So, um, a lot of those fancy things, I, like I said, I just laugh at, um, I wouldn't worry about them. I wouldn't follow those plans. If you're, if you have, if you're following a plan that says something about muscle confusion, I would pretty much run away or stick stick away from that. Um, that's just kind of a fad type thing that came out, um, and really hasn't shown to be all that um, good. Really, I mean, it's not gonna there's not a whole lot of basis behind it. So, and there's not a whole lot of evidence that it is good for progress or it, you'll achieve your goals faster doing that. So I would definitely stick with compound movements of uh, the four biggest ones being bench press, overhead press, squat, and deadlift. So uh, if you don't have much time to work out, I would focus just on those, especially if you're a beginner, don't worry about isolation movements. Um, focus on the compound movements. It could be you could have your whole workout just those four movements, and that would be it. And that's all you would need for probably six months to a year. Uh, as long as you're progressing on on those movements, you will see progress towards your goals, and you'll get bigger muscle-wise. You'll lose fat, and you'll just get where you want a lot faster than if you were spending time with these little compound or isolation movements, you know, and things like that. So they really just don't, um, you're not gonna be lifting as much weight with isolation movements typically, and you're gonna be using less uh, energy as a result. So again, stick with those and stay away from uh, workout programs that talk about muscle confusion and have you do these weird type movements, so. If you like this video, as always, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks.